Hey guys, Dave here from Bold Adventures, bringing you outdoor video content every single week. If that's something that you enjoy, make sure you follow along and don't forget to hit subscribe. So in this video, I'm going to be taking you through a hiking guide of one of my most recent hikes in the Peak District in Cheedale, and it's where I went to hike along the Cheedale Stepping Stones. It's going to be a full guide, so what I'm going to do is shrink this screen down and head over to the OS Maps fly-through screen so that I can show you exactly what the route is like. So, let's go. Okay, so during the video, I'm gonna be in this portion of the screen, uh, explaining through the route and giving some tips and some advice on uh, the route. So one thing I will say, uh, first of all, before we begin, is that always take a map with you when you go hiking and don't solely rely on your mobile phone for navigation. I've come unstuck many a times where I've had zero reception or the phone's died even on a really easy hike. So it's always worth investing your time and a bit of money into learning to map read. But for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna be using the fly through function on the OS Maps app. And I'll leave a link in the comments below. So if you wanna head there and see what that app can do for you, then feel free to do so. So starting off then, First of all, this hike starts from uh, Millersdale Car Park. It's at this point here on the map, and um, I've left a postcode there for you so you can easily navigate to it. And it's cost me at the time £4.50 to park there, and that was £4.50 all day. Um, so really cheap and affordable if you're going out for a day hike. So as I click play then you can see the locator start to move and we join straight away the Monsell Trail. Um, and the Monsell Trail is a trail used for cycling, horse riding and walking in the Peak District. You're going to be able to follow it all the way along until you hit this point here. Now at this point here you're going to see on your right hand side an old lime kiln which is a really interesting feature of the landscape. It used to be used for burning lime, but now it's been turned into a wildlife sanctuary. Um, so it's protect wildlife and you can see that there. Spend a couple of minutes exploring and then just head on straight back onto the Monsell Trail where we continue just a little bit further. So as we continue a little bit further, then it's not too far uh, before we come across a bridge at this point here. We don't want to be going over that bridge. What we want to be doing is looking at the side. And we're going to turn right and start heading down, a set of steps down towards the river. So as we start heading down those steps, we're going to come down towards the river and we're just going to handrail hand rail that river all the way along following a pretty clearly marked path. Um, there's not many places that you can go off the beaten track. It's very picturesque. Uh, if it's quiet and you've gone early in the morning, it's going to be very quiet, nice and tranquil, uh, lovely sounds of the water as it rushes by. And we're going to slowly make our way through the woodland uh, towards uh, where we start to come across some real sheer cliff rock faces, which are pretty magnificent to be honest. And we're going to get to around this point here. Now this is where you'll find the steep rock faces, you'll see some rock climbing, bolted climbs. And not too far on from that is where the stepping stones are. So what we're going to do is continue towards the stepping stones and then follow the route around the cliff face and use those stepping stones to traverse the river. Now it's worth noting that if, it's, if we've had a particularly bad spell of multiple days of rain, uh, those stepping stones aren't huge. Those stepping stones are relatively small. Although the section is relatively short, sometimes it can be submerged uh, under water uh, which makes that route pretty much totally impassable. So it's worth thinking about it before you set off, um, but don't put yourself in any danger to try and traverse that cliff face. Um, it's easy enough to turn around. But if you've been lucky enough and the stepping stones are in full view, then enjoy them, head around, and continue following the river uh, all the way along until you head over a little bridge. Now it's worth noting that this route can be slippy when wet and around this point here you're going to be treated to a second set of stepping stones. Very similar to the first set, it helps uh, hikers to traverse the cliff face as it overhangs the river. Again relatively short but an enjoyable hike. 
Now once you're over the second set of stepping stones, you continue along a path um, and you're heading towards the bridge. You're just gonna continue under it until you head to a little sty, which you can quickly get over. And you're heading up towards uh, the proven track again, which is the Monsal Trail. There's a small incline to get up to it and around this point right here, where you really wanna start heading back east. So if you start heading east, as you set off, you're just gonna walk along uh, the tarmac path. Again, be aware, this path is used by mountain bikers, it's used by cyclists, horse riders, hikers. It's a very proven, uh, well-maintained path. Um, you can continue along it, take your time, it's a good way to get back, it doesn't take that long at all. You've also got the luxury of at around this point here, although on this OS map it looks like we are going to go up and over that hilltop, what we're actually going to do is we're actually going to go into uh, some of the old railway tunnels along the Monsal Trail. So whilst the locator heads up and over the top of this uh, hill, we would actually be walking on the Monsal Trail through an old railway tunnel which is lit from inside uh, which is a pretty cool experience and if you've got kids or family they're going to love it. At the other side then you're going to emerge from the tunnel not too far from where you originally turned off the track to go down towards the riverside and you can continue back down that Monsal Trail because uh, that's the way back to the car park. There is a cafe and there is toilets that you can use if you so wish to do so um, before you head back from wherever it is that you've come from and hopefully you've enjoyed the day. So there we have it, a full hiking guide of the Cheedale Stepping Stones in the Peak District and the route that I took. It's a very enjoyable route. If you're interested in watching a video uh, of my full hike, make sure that you watch that one next. Also if you like this video make sure you give it a thumbs up and if you want to stay updated on future videos then hit subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.